How investigators caught and convicted a serial killer who slaughtered three and attacked two others on a multi-county killing spree. I also spoke with the victim's nephew who shared his family's story. To have, have that guy do that to my uncle, a veteran, on Veterans Weekend, sad. Frank Seaver's uncle Homer survived the serial killer attack. Tell me all about your uncle. Tell me a little bit about who he was. He liked to fish a lot, liked to hunt. He was a retired mechanic for uh, Tama County. He was a shop foreman. And hey, he liked to restore old vehicles, old pickups. Frank's 88-year-old Aunt Lorene didn't survive. They'd go out and walk every day, you know, in the morning, two miles in the morning, two miles at night. And my aunt, she didn't, never met a stranger. She'd walk up to you today and just tell you a joke. On May 23rd, 2020, Ryan Blinston showed up at the Los Molinas couple's home. He'd just finished some tree trimming work for them and then slashed both their throats. But Homer got away and ran to Frank for help. Here comes my uncle through my back door, covered from blood from head to toe in his underwear. And I said, what the hell happened to you? You fall down again, fall down and hurt yourself? Because he was in the early stages of Alzheimer's. And he says, no, a guy in a mask came in and killed Durant and tried to kill me. Blinston struck again. His victim, another tree trimming customer, 82-year-old Sandra George of Oroville. Just did the tree job at her house and he went back an hour later and killed her. Yeah. It seemed like it began with the elderly and uh, then from that point on it went to others as well. Next, Blinston killed his friend, Vicki Klein, and torched her car. Fishermen found Klein's body in the Feather River near Belden on June 21st. A week earlier, a Butte County Sheriff's SWAT team tracked Blinston to a very remote road in Brush Creek. Prior to our SWAT team arriving in, in the middle of the night, Blinston attacked him, right? And he was fighting for his life, right? And he was able to get him out of the RV and hold the door shut. And then Blinston armed himself with an ax, right? Mm -hmm and began to try to break through this door. Blinston's acquaintance, Robert Smith, survived through unbelievable luck. On any other night, there would have been nobody to help him, and eventually Blinston would have been able to break through that door with that hatchet. But as it turned out, the Butte County Sheriff's SWAT team happened to be moving into the area. It is a miracle, and um, I know that word gets thrown around a lot, uh, but this is a true miracle. The Butte County DA's team didn't have a murder weapon or eyewitnesses to the three murders, so getting a conviction wasn't easy. A case like this was complicated. It was mostly circumstantial. There was actually some surveillance video that uh, we were able to uh, used for the trial as well, just from some private citizens that uh, had some cameras out that were facing the, uh, the roads. So that was a huge help. Smith spoke at the sentencing. I have to wake up every morning and look in the mirror and see the scar on my neck from the wound inflicted, reminding me of that horrific night. The judge ordered Blinston to serve three life sentences. The what guy would not that? look at anybody the whole, every time I was at court, he would not look at anybody, he just sit there and stare at the wall. I don't know what the, didn't how to like describe him. No, no, he has no remorse for anything he did. Do you feel like we know a motive? What I have been able to come up with is I've reconciled it in my mind as it was just a thrill to kill. He made me realize that evil and monsters actually do exist. This person is going to be in jail for the rest of their life. And, you know, your uncle is not here yeah, anymore. Yeah. Do you think that he would feel like at this point justice was served? I don't know. He was a Korean War vet, so maybe not. Homer Seavers died later in 2020 from other medical issues. But his nephew Frank tells me after losing Lorraine, he believes Homer really died of a broken heart. Robert Smith died recently from a drug overdose.